I think he's an exciting player, potentially the most exciting 10 in the Six Nations. Maro Itoji. He will play at some point. He's a stellar talent. It will be interesting to see whether he makes a jump from playing so well at uh, Premiership Rugby on the international stage. Jonathan Dante, the, the French centre from Stade Francais. Um, uncapped but looks, uh, looks lively and, and could be very interesting to see how he goes. Yep. Finn Russell, uh, Scotland's number 10. I think he's an exciting player, potentially the most exciting 10 in the Six Nations. Um, he's a great attacker, very brave, uh, and will, given any opportunity, I think attack the line. Sergio Parise of Italy, one of the greatest players ever to have played the game, never mind just in the, in the Six Nations Championship. He won't have too many more championships left in him, but even in a struggling side, he, he always performs. He's always a joy to watch. Dan Bigger. Uh, Bigger has grown into his role as the fulcrum of the Welsh team. It's vital that he plays well, and I'm expecting him to kick on from his form, and who knows where he will end up in terms of world rankings. Connor Murray. Uh, I think uh, he's linked with Jonathan Sexton. If Ireland are going to do anything, I think they're going to have to have good decision making at nine. He's got the experience. He probably has to take more responsibility to get the Irish forwards into the game in the right way. 